Pickles. Oh boy, baby. So Pickle is gone. There are only five of us left in the house. I've been in the bottom three several times now. You know, I'm struggling. That's so funny. Pickle. It just sucks, you know? I was always hanging out with him in the house. And, you know, I'm, I, I'm gonna miss him. He's my buddy. Even though Mary Alice sent Pickle home yesterday, our alliance will still live on, and uh, we're still strong, and we need to get rid of Angela and VJ. Let me go lay down again. We have a note! Everyone in the living room. We finally get a note. I'm sure there's another curveball. All our models. Today will determine who has the strongest drive to succeed. Divide yourself into teams of two. I know there's an odd number of people remaining, but I'm leaving it up to you to decide who will be the odd model out. The van leaves it in out. I'll be by myself. Okay. <laughs> that <laughs> was easy. <laughs> I volunteer to be the odd man out. They've all been partners in the past. My boy Pickle's gone, so he's gonna be my partner in spirit today. Oh, uh, you want to team up with me or what? Yeah. I want to win. I know that with Andre by my side, I'm going to have a good shot. Okay. So it's going to have to do something with driving. Oh, who knows? I mean, just... It may be golf. Just in, it may be... That's not a bad idea. I don't want to team up with Brett, Rachel, or Andre anyway because they're an alliance against me. So I, you know, Angela and I team up to take over the competition ourselves. This way. <laughs> this way. Yes! Hello. Yes, yes, yes. How are you? Yes, yes! I love this. We walk into Stratos. I see tools, parts, tires. It even, it smells like a garage. I've never been in a garage. You know, I, I don't want to break your nail. Good morning, models. Welcome Hola. to Stratus Carts. Today's Edge Challenge is a very technical challenge. So I've brought in Carter Osterhaus. I'm sure you probably recognize him from television and from Trading Spaces. And he has a fabulous new TV show out on HGTV called Carter Ken, which is all about building it's stuff. It's all about building stuff. I have seen Carter on TV. All I can think of is, damn, Carter's hot. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's Edge Challenge, we are going to test your knowledge of engineering. In the first part, each team will have to build their own cart. Every team has the same sets of tools, parts, and instructions to make that happen. The first two teams to successfully build their carts in racing order, that is, they have to be ready to race, will get to race their cars later this afternoon. And the winner of that race will win the edge for tomorrow's callback challenge. I love cars. I've been working on the car with my dad since I was a little girl, and I just can't wait to get my hands dirty. So what you guys need to do is install the engine, install the exhaust, install the seat, the steering, uh, all four tires, and then the guards around the edges. Now, Richard here is the main mechanic. So once you guys are done, Richard's going to come in. He's going to see if it is track worthy. And if it's not track worthy, what's going to happen? If they're not built to perfection, they cannot race. So I see you've broken up into teams. Rhett, what's going on? You're the shows, odd man out here. to be the one-man show today. Do you miss Pickle right now, Brett? He's here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? I think you could handle it. I think so, too. So, since all racing teams have uniforms, I want you guys to pick your team colors now. Red. Blue. I'll take orange. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy. I'm wearing red. Back to Soviet Union, baby. Models, are you ready? Ready to yeah, go. Ready. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> You're not gonna lift this, right? How can you lift it? I just did. I'm a lot stronger than I look, sweetheart. VJ's a boy, so he probably thinks he should take a lead on this, but my experience definitely puts me in control. I'm climbing underneath the car. Drop her. Step one, you have to do the engine first. I'm thinking, thank God I have Andre with me. He must have some knowledge of automobiles. <laughs> He's a man. I don't know how to undo it. I don't know. How do you turn this into reverse instead of tightening? I come from a family of diplomats. I have never, ever built anything, let alone a go-kart. 
Ah. There you go. Nice. Fucking Russian. <laughs> The most experience I have with assembling things is Legos, and I don't know how that's gonna help me in this challenge. Come on, man. The little go-kart's not so easy, it's a lot of work. I'm stuck by myself, working on one thing at a time. God, I wish Pickle was here right now. Right. Come on, you can't let these jokers beat you. You know you are America's most smartest model. You know what, this might not be so bad. Maybe I can do it. We kicking ass, baby. I got your back, dog. Blue team, you guys are rocking, man. This is looking good. I used to work on the car with my dad uh -huh. all the time. Okay, is there anything you don't know, Angela? Doctor, vet, mechanic? If you challenge her to a water drinking competition, she'd be like, I used to be a fish. <laughs> I'll be great at this. I have gills, actually. I can't. <laughs> Andre and I are like a dysfunctional married couple at the moment. Boy, boy. He's barking orders at me. Can't reach him. How do you do that? Uh-oh, I have trouble over here. He's forcing things where they don't go. Make sure you read your directions. He doesn't know what a nut is or what a washer is. You have to get that nut off the screw. I know. Okay. I can't get the... All right. Give me a second. We're screwed. We're done. In this challenge, we have got to put together a go-kart. The first two teams to finish their cart get to race the go-karts for the edge. We're done. Done. All right, everybody stop. Those are, that's how they stay. The exhaust, it looks great. The exhaust is all right? Yeah. And what about all of our fuel lines? Fuel lines are correct. This car's ready to race. Yes. Blue team, Woo. congratulations. In first, there's one more spot, one more spot. Still the race for second, though. VJ and Angela win. And now it's down to Andre and I and Brett to compete for second place. To actually race, this sucks. I don't want to be competing against Brett. You know, I wish it's been the Lions. Come on, where's the okay, people? directions. The Install steering wheel in the position shown. Other way. How can it be other way? I was struggling with this car so much at first, but I'm starting to put it together now, and uh, I feel like Pickle's really here with me in spirit. Brett, come on, bro. The washers, kid, they're in the wrong place. Don't let me down. Don't make me come over there and beat your butt. Done, we need an inspection. Andre and I have finally reached step six in the manual, and we think we're done. We're almost done here. Almost. Oh, that's not good. The axle bar clips yeah. are not in the correct position. If I'm gonna lose this competition to Brad because of some stupid clips, I'm going to lose my shit. Then that's okay. it. All right, start it back up. One more spot. Please let me drive. That's it? You're still having a problem with them. Oh, my God. We got them wrong again. Let's look at the picture. This one's facing... Baby, I'm Russian. Translate for me, please. Slip pins through pin screws and snap as shown. Done. Done. All right. Your clips are not a problem anymore. Oh! Yeah. Are we good to go? Let's race. All right. Let's race. Let's race. Yeah. Yes! We finally got it. You'll be racing against the blue team for the edge. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm so pissed I ended up losing this challenge. I can't even get a chance to race. I can't win the edge challenge. It's not a proud moment, my friend. Not a proud moment. The washers, bro. I had to take the whole thing off. Welcome to the Dromo One Racetrack. Each team member will race the card around the track for five laps. The first team to finish all ten laps will win the edge for tomorrow's callback challenge. BJ and Angela, since your team finished building your car first, you have been placed in the coveted pole position. Once again, looks like it's going to be USSR versus USA. It's the imports versus American made. All right, everybody, get ready to race. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Being at the track absolutely sucks. Everyone's having a great time, and I'm sitting there with my thumb in my ass. I know I can do this. I have to.
to center myself, focus, I can win. Come on, Ricky! On your marks, get set. Blue team has got the lead, red team is already behind. That was such a Russian move. <laughs> Rachel just cut off Angela. Great move. Proud of my girl. My heart is pounding. It is thumping. Fucking Angela. Go, 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 go. Rachel decided to play dirty, and I cannot catch up to her. I was just so proud of Rachel. She's first, she jumped out quick. Get up, get up! Peace, I'm out! Once again, another race between Andre and I. Andre, get on a plane, go back home to Russia. Your time here is through. Andre speeds up like a Russian rocket, kicking BJ's ass. Driving with one arm, Andre. I love that kid. VJ, buddy, you're on a racetrack with the Soviet. Oh, bro, you are gone, bro. I'm sweating, like pouring sweat at this point. Go, 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 go! As I'm watching VJ chase Andre, I see him gaining on him, and I'm just screaming for him to pull ahead. Competition. You two uh, did a good job too. Oh, Angela Perhaps looks like she's gonna cry. Timid at first. You are? Angela. Oh. I look over and I see Angela crying. There's no crying in go kart racing. I'll tell tomorrow, guys. I'm gonna tell tomorrow. <laughs> I am so happy. I have the team next to me crying like a bunch of wussies, and it feels so good. Congratulations, Andre and Rachel. You have bested your opponents and won the go-kart challenge. Congratulations. This is your second place trophy, still not a trivial accomplishment. And now it is time to see your edge for tomorrow's callback challenge. Please bring in the edge. Yes! Wow. And suddenly, a Jaguar 2007 pulls in. Wow. Your edge is a 2007 Jaguar XKR. We're not giving you a brand new Jaguar, but the two of you will get to drive it back to the mansion tonight. And inside the glove compartment is a brochure which will come in handy because in tomorrow's callback challenge, each of you will be a spokesmodel for an all new 2007 convertible Jaguar XKR. A very, very handsome machine. Tomorrow's callback challenge is extremely important. The model that wins tomorrow's challenge gets an automatic call back to the finale. This is the best edge I've ever won. That treatment. Thank you. This is the car of my dreams. Lovely car. Want to wreck it on the way back to the mansion? I'm feeling very upset with myself. I feel like I failed myself. I feel like I failed my team. I obviously made the wrong decision today by just going flying solo, and now I'm worried I'm gonna get eliminated. Oh, no, no, no. What is this? Guys, I found a note. After the Edge Challenge, we get this note, and it's, it's kind of bizarre. Good evening, models. Here's what I want you to do. On the enclosed card, write the name of the model who the majority of you decide is not smart enough and not model enough to be named America's most smartest model. The person you name will automatically be called down at the elimination. The only thing that will save the person from chopping block is winning the callback challenge. 
You must complete this task before going to bed tonight. Dude. I swear, I already knew. I was like, it's, my name is gonna be the majority. There's an alliance. This is the perfect opportunity for all of them to try and get me out of the house. The fairest way is to nominate somebody anonymously. Why don't we all write one name on a piece of paper? I agree. Three votes for VJ. Well, buddy, you're going home. Just dump it in there. This sucks. This really sucks. Andre. Andre. BJ. BJ. Uh, Andre. Wow. I don't know what to say. Two votes on Andre and two votes on VJ. It better not be me on that last freaking paper. Van Jameson. VJ. That's it. Que sera, sera. VJ's name is going in that envelope. If he doesn't win tomorrow's callback challenge, he will be on the chopping block, which is where he should be. <laughs> Two to three, bro. <laughs> Whatever, man. The house just voted me to be eliminated. And I know who wrote my name down, one, two, three. What they need to do is go find a fucking shield because I'm about to start a war. Thank you. This is so much detail. It's exciting. So part of this edge is that we have won brochures to help sell our Jaguar XKR at the callback challenge the next day. Tomorrow's challenge is the most important of the competition. This is do or die. If I have to stay up all night and study, I will. I can't stand that snakey motherfucker. Right, you there? Andre and Rachel were the only two in the house who had information on the Jaguar. Get online, I want you to go to Jaguar website. So I call my best friend in the world. I said, I need you to give me all the best information about a 2007 Jaguar XKR convertible. I didn't win the edge, so I created my own edge. All right, bro, good luck. Good luck. Hey, love you, bro. Thank you very much. This morning, we are going to be delivering our presentations at the Jaguar headquarters. I stayed up all night studying with Andre. We were reading through piles and piles of content. I was exhausted. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hello. We're delighted to welcome you to the North American headquarters of Jaguar. This is the day I have to nail it. This is go big or go home. My name is Bob Witter. And I'm Marty Yolberg. What we're going to do today is teach you a little bit about the Jaguar XKR, and you're going to have the opportunity to enter the showroom and present it after a little bit of instruction. I wanted to make sure I had my information correct, that when I presented this vehicle, I presented it with the accurate information. The XKR is basically the top of the line of the XK range, okay? It's 420 horsepower. It's got a supercharged V8. It has a 32 valve, six speed sequential paddle shift, which is adaptive restraint technology, computer stuff. active technology suspension, which is now. dynamic stability control. This is a lot of information. If they expect me to, you know, talk about everything they're talking about, that's just not going to happen. Okay, so let's go. I'm really not preparing at all for the presentation. I've already done so much research yesterday, and I just can't wait for my moment. So this callback challenge is the most important of the competition, and I'm going to be up first. Ooh. I walk into the showroom, and I know I'm going to be selling the Jaguar XKR. I just didn't expect to be selling it to an audience. is just bad. This callback challenge is the most important of the competition. Win it and I get a place in the finale, lose and I'm probably going home. Ooh. I walk into the showroom and I know I'm going to be selling the Jaguar XKR. I just didn't expect to be selling it to an audience. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rachel Murphy and I am proud to present the 
The platform <laughs> began spinning. So I'm trying to walk around the car in a long gown that I was having difficulty wearing. You can see I'm still trying to get used to walking on a turning circle, everybody. <laughs> it's fantastic fashion, luxury and craftsmanship and I'm so pleased to be here attempting to deliver this speech to you today. Disastrous presentation. I was really disappointed in myself. <laughs> it was so bad. Rachel comes back pale. Bad, bad, bad. Holy hell, if she's got problems, then I'm definitely having problems because I could barely speak proper English. Uh, How many people are there? This doesn't look good at all. How's it going? Tough crowd, I heard. Good afternoon. My name is Andre, and this is the new 2007 Jaguar XKR. It has 32 valves. It has uh, 6,000 revolutions per minute. Um, its peak torque is 413... Um, uh, th uh, 413, I want to say, pounds. Pounds, yes, for uh, per uh, 4,000 RPMs. It has side rigid. Um... Oh God! I just went blank. Side. I'm Russian. Um, it has 4.2 um, liters. Um, I could talk about this car on and on and on. Five minutes won't be enough. What can I say about that? It is not a car, it is a vehicle. Metal bars, it is not metal, it's... Oh crap, I'm in trouble. So, uh, thank you so much, I give you... I wanted to die a thousand times. It's, it's bad, dude, tough crowd, man. So my approach for the presentation is keep it smooth, make it my own, and just try and knock it out of the park. Good afternoon, my name is Brett Novak, and uh, come with me to experience the Jaguar XKR. I was like, you're gonna do fine, and you're gonna nail it. I got this. So I thought. Here at Jaguar, our brand vision is to make a beautiful, fast car. Our motto is to live fast and always be in style. But then the car and myself start turning. I think my head is spinning along with the frickin' car right now. I gotta start over. Fred, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. I can't doing great. This circle was not in my presentation. That you're doing I'm supposed okay. to talk about Brad, the front of the doing, car. Brad, you're doing great. Ben's saying, you're doing fine, you're doing fine. And I'm like, Ben, I, I'm sucking right now. I'm not doing fine. You don't need to do Take this. Take a deep breath and just go, talk. You're doing great. All right, I'm just gonna go. With 420 horsepower V8 engine, 32 valve and six speed, six speed transmission. The paddles let you, let you comfortably. <sighs> this circle of death totally screwed me. All right, thank you. <laughs> Terrible, bro. I'm really screwed right now, and honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do. The freaking thing was spinning. Two minutes of my thing was talking about, look at the beautiful eyes on the front of this car. Part of being a spokesmodel is to never let them see you sweat. No matter how nervous you may be, that's in here. Allow that to be your adrenaline, your rush. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm BJ. How are you doing? This is the 2007 Jaguar XKR. The floor starts rotating. And right away, I'm like, oh, geez. The XKR hit the markets December of last year, or should I say 
intimidated the markets in December of last year. I'm not going to stand on a gosh damn rotating floor. And everyone knows that the cars do the whole spin thing, not the guy who's selling it. I think the car is absolutely beautiful and speaks for itself, but I'm going to help this pretty kitty out. In the center of its bold face, you can see the growler just saying, yeah, baby, I am a Jaguar. The Jaguar, its design is its language, and this one is talking to us saying, open the door, come on in. The road is your oyster. I'm creating a story. That's my whole idea. It's story time, and VJ's the teacher. Please come along. It is passion, it is personality, and it is all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2007 XKR Jaguar. I nailed it. I got a standing ovation from the judges. My heart is still racing. Did you do well? I don't know. I'm very nervous because I just am still feeling like I kind of failed myself, and I'm wondering how I'm going to be able to pull off the spokes modeling. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Angela, and this is the Jaguar XKR. This car has been designed not only to look good and to make you look good, but for speed, performance, intelligence, and safety as well. As soon as I saw the turntable, I knew it was gonna start moving. So I decided that I was gonna use the turntable to my advantage. I pretended it was a stage, and I gave them all the passion and all the information they needed. A style that fits the sophisticated consumer. The haunches are hunkered down and show you that this cat is ready to pounce. This baby is a companion. This car is a masterpiece. I got a standing ovation from all the judges, and I just hope that I was able to knock them off their feet. It is time to go in and find out who wins the callback challenge to the finale, and I'm feeling pretty confident. Hi, models. I really just hope they're sympathetic and thought it was funny, if anything. We're going to start and, and give comments, and obviously Bob and Marty have a lot to say here, uh, so we're going to start with Rachel. Rachel, I expected you to be much better. You need a lot of work practicing in dresses. Sometimes dresses are long and sometimes dresses are heavy, and you had the beautiful Naeem Khan dress hiked up all the way, and both Marty and I were saying it really got in the way of us listening to what you were saying. I had the edge. I should have had this nailed. Let's talk about Andre. You were very nervous and you just kind of stopped. You did stop in the middle and you put your hands on your face. Oh my god. What have I done? This confident, take charge guy we've been seeing since the first day of the show just was replaced by somebody else today and again you guys had the edge. I don't know what happened but uh, it frankly breaks my heart. So Brett, 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 you completely lost and you go, oh. I did? Yes, you did. You bet I'm you so did. Sorry. You absolutely did. God, that circle! Circle ruins me. Circle. I was, I I was to keep you in line, Brad. I did not anticipate the moving ground. Why did I do that? Idiot. So, VJ, Marty? Basically, you figured out, you know, what the consumer's like who's going to buy that car, what our audience is like, and you really talked to it. And I think you did a great job. You burned this mother down. It was incredible. So this is a guy, he's not a guy who went to Harvard or Yale. He used to be a butcher, and he's done well at every competition. And today, he just blasted the thing out of the ballpark. Congratulations. You did a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Alice. I feel excellent, not only because I did a good job, because I told Andre, Brett, and Rachel that they better watch their asses because I will win this competition. So, Angela. I'm thinking the way that the judges are talking to VJ. VJ has just won this thing. So, Bob. Angela. Yeah. That was a grand slam. You were incredible. Thank you. Uh, after uh, VJ, I thought, well, this game's over, and then you came out, and it was astounding, just astounding. If I heard your pitch, I'd get on the phone, call my wife, and say, honey, come down and drive this car. You were just fantastic. You know, I could see her so clearly as the spokesperson for this car. I mean, I, I could yeah. see her being but the VJ spokesperson for VJ was fantastic, car. too, and VJ that's was a incredible. very, very incredible. tough decision. I have yeah. to tell you, I would take either one of you to sell Jaguars for us. You both did a fabulous job. Thank you. Bob, what do you think? Um, my my vote is going to be uh, 
a tie with BJ and Angela. And I agree. I would take. I would vote for a tie too. Me, you guys you. owned it. So VJ and Angela, you have tied this challenge. Since when people are tied? Well, make up your freaking mind. I mean, you can win both. VJ and Angela, you win the automatic callback to the final episode. Congratulations! Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. So uh, VJ and Angela win. This blows. So, I wanted to give you models a chance to tell me who you thought should be going home today. I am so excited and anxious for her to get in there and to read my name. That is stunning. <laughs> so you voted for VJ to go home today. A big part of it was the way that he's played the game. I mean, in my opinion, it wasn't, it, it was like a little snaky and unfair. Well, what did he do that was snaky and unfair? For one of the competitions before the, there's like one encyclopedia. He hid it from all of us and none of us had anything to look I've at. I've never done anything, you guys. Nothing have I done has not been allowed. I played the game, biatch. He did what well, what, today? Did. Oh, come on, that's not how you win a war with one battle. Winston Churchill said about the British Empire, Britain always wins one battle in every war, the last one. The rest of you are in danger of being purged at tonight's elimination. Not only did I just prove myself in this competition? I just wiped my ass with their face. So you are fucking so freaked out. Out. No, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> How ridiculous is this? Oh Dude, the whole world's gonna see that you're okay. a dick. See? Dude, I'm not a dick. I'm a model. You could be fucking kissing my feet right now. Oh, you can fuck yourself. We find a note with a bottle of champagne for VJ and I from Mary Alice. You know? To the best type of revenge. Success. Success. Cheers. Take a good look at me, you'll be the last you see me. I'm definitely going tonight. I was sure I should start packing. I am just crushed. I'm disappointed in myself. I'm really, really, really scared. This anticipation is killing me. You know you're not going anywhere. There is an elimination looming around the corner. It's obvious that another one of the Alliance members will be departing. You know what I was thinking? What do you, it could be all three of us going home. <laughs> Into tonight's elimination, I am not feeling confident. They gave me the opportunity to sell myself, and I sold myself short. Going into tonight's elimination, I'm nervous. I haven't been performing that well lately, but I think I could possibly get to the finale. Please, dear Lord, get Andre out of here. I've been asking for that for this entire competition, and it is about time that that guy is done. Good evening, models. It's time for another purge. VJ and Angela, you obviously get the call back to the next episode. So that means the three of you, the come Andre. on down. Andre inside is steaming. He is boiling inside. And I love every second of it. The three of you, I expected to be in the finale. Yes, so did we. <laughs> I really did. Rachel, I think you just have so much star potential, and I really see you as a spokesmodel. You really are great in front of the camera, but I don't know what went wrong today. And in this competition, there's no room for mistakes. I think you somehow psyched yourself out to not do well in a way. Yeah, maybe putting too much pressure on myself. Andre, I mean... Wow. What went wrong, Andre? And you oh, had the God. edge. She's a beauty, that car. She left me speechless. You actually had... That's very yeah. smooth. Whoa. That's I wish you just said that. Smooth. You actually, Andre, in your presentation, you had all the information. Yes. You did have a lot of information. You just it's either here. I swear it's here, but flubbed up, got it wrong, mispronounced it. You're clearly not a spokesmodel. You will oh, need no. so much help in that arena for you to get work. I'm gonna be honest with you, Andre. You really bombed. Why should I be a spokesmodel? For what? 
I run on to be a runway model, a campaign model. How dare you? So, Brett. Yeah. You know, I think that literally ever since Pickle left, I know we're joking about it a lot, but you kind of spiraled downhill. Really, I wanted to see so much more, and I know it's in you. But today, you just sort of had a complete meltdown. You exploded the F-bomb over the audience. I think also not fighting for a partner. You really needed a partner in that. Obviously, I would have fought for someone. I thought, you know, I'll be able to do this myself. Apparently, I was wrong. So, this is such a difficult decision. So painful. God, I just, I, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Just let the nice guy finish first, please. Like, please. In the bottom three, and this is not good for me. It's possible that I'm going home tonight, and it sucks. This is such a difficult decision. So painful. It's agonizing. I don't think I would have signed up to do this if I'd known how painful it's going to be. I hate to tell you this, but this is really, really painful. Like the long extinct Australopithecus afarensis, you, Rachel, must vanish into oblivion. We are sorry. Uh, yeah. Good luck, guys. Good. Yes. We don't need luck. We have good I did not do my best today. It should have been something. I would have had, you know, breeze through. You know, I'll be kicking myself for a long time <laughs> that I let it come to this. But I feel as though I've grown so much in this competition and I've learned a lot about myself and what I'm capable of now. I actually feel like a model, you know? Andre, Brett. Yeah. I am very happy that I'm still here. Just makes me closer to the finals. Are you ready, Ben? I, this. We have one more. Elimination tonight. It's very sad, but we can only take three to the finals. What the hell is going on with breaking the rules? I swear, I feel like I'm, I'm taking crazy pills. This is such a difficult decision. You have Andre, who has had so much modeling experience and who's great in front of the camera. It has been so personally difficult and screwed up so badly today. And then Brett. Brett, whom everyone really... loves lights up the room, has so much potential, yet didn't really seem like you wanted it enough. And the past couple challenges, you spiraled downhill. It's agonizing because we've gotten to love you both, even though one is a communist. But like the discoloration of the tooth enamel after the application of a whitening denifrous, you, Brett, must now disappear into history. Oh, man. We're sorry. I just got eliminated. This does come at a little bit of a shock. You know, between Andre and I, I really did think it was a toss up. And it ended up being me. What can I do? I'm leaving with my head high. I have no regrets whatsoever. So Andre, please return with the other models to the end of the runway. Thank you. I can't believe I'm sitting here and before my eyes, my entire alliance is falling apart. And uh, even though I miss these guys, I'm kind of pleased that it's not me leaving. I get to go to the finals, baby. So Andre, VJ, Angela, one of you will win the title of America's Most Smartest Model. The one who breaks the mold, proving to be the perfect balance of brains and beauty, will be awarded the Extreme Style by VO5 grand prize of $100,000. <laughs> I plan on doing everything in my power to just bulldoze over these last two competitors. Good luck to all of you. We will see you tomorrow. You are dismissed. You're dismissed. See you tomorrow. I'm just one step away from being named America's Most Smartest Model, and I really, really think there's $100,000 with my name on it. Thank you. Good night. Of course you can sit in it. Yeah, see, that's what it is. People. Involuntarily, I said, no, you need to have a key. Oh, Remember? Yeah, this is XKR. <laughs> Within a meter. 